Good morning and welcome Team Southside, where teamwork makes a dream work. Mr. Reynolds here, along with... Mason Mitchell, Elizabeth Merle, Presley Brecklow, Cameron Hill, Casey Watkins. All right, all these fine young students are from Mrs. Ping's class, and they have something special that they're going to tell us about in just a bit. But at this time, please go ahead and stand and prepare for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. All right, you guys did a fantastic job. Let's jump right into our number talk or our math talk this week. Your picture from yesterday was a little bit harder than the day before, and we determined that there were 32, 32 unit cubes in the shape. And so you have a new one today. Mr. Bay's going to insert the picture here, and maybe it's even just a little bit harder than the one before. So each day this week, we're kind of getting a little bit harder, but I am sure that you can figure it out along with the help of maybe your classmates. And then also talk about how it was that you figured it out. Well, how did you just count those cubes? Uh, which ones did you group together? That kind of thing, okay? So I've invited some students from Mrs. Ping's class here because their class as a whole did something very special. They actually have a published book and it is called All About Animals and they I'm going to let the students tell you a little bit about this book, okay? All right, first of all, tell us what is it, what we'd see in this book if we open it and start reading from it. Um, you would see like <coughs> Excuse my tongue. You would see you would see like all about animals and like their diet and habitat and stuff in a picture about the animals. Okay, so each student wrote about a particular animal and they drew a picture so they illustrated a picture to go along with it now how did you determine which animal you were going to talk about um miss ping gave us a list of animals and we got to choose which one we wanted to write about all right let's see mason can you tell me what you wrote about and why you chose that I wrote about cats because I, I really love cats. I have three at home. Uh, my cat's Abigail, uh, my mom's cat's uh, Levi, and uh, my, I have two cats, which is my other one's uh, Kitty Middens. That's the reason why, because I really love cats. Okay, Elizabeth, can you tell me your favorite part of having a class book or what you liked best about this process? Um, what I like best about the process is that it's not something that just your parents are going to see. It's going to be like your class's parents, too. Yeah, so some of you may have been in Miss Ping's class previously, and I think most years, maybe not every year, but most years, sure they do publish a book like this, and I think you could see that in her classroom if you went now. All right, Kaysen, can you tell us anything that you would like to add about writing a book as a class or just at all about the whole topic? Um, I liked it because we in the class, um, we are ocean class, the street curators, and we, I used to be in Miss Payne's class last year, so I figured I would pick an ocean animal, but it was only a seahorse. I knew a lot about seahorses, so I chose a seahorse. And so you did, uh, while Kaysen was talking there, I did show a couple of examples of some student work. And you can see they really worked hard on it. They put together a lot of information about their animals and they did a fantastic job of writing neatly and using all the rules that they've learned about grammar and punctuation and drawing a fantastic picture along with it too. So congratulations to Miss Ping's class on a job well done. All right, guys, you know that here at Southside, we strive to be safe, respectful, and responsible in each and every way. And we've been really focusing in on that this week, and I hope that you continue to do that. You can see today we're standing in front of our 
incentive boards that we have here in the cafeteria and I see that there are quite a few more classes that have either just recently met the cafeteria incentive or are about to do that and so congratulations to those classes on being safe respectful and responsible in the, in the cafeteria and we know that it is always a great day to be a Southside Stallion thank you all right thanks guys Bye. Bye. Bye.